I'm joined at the Radio Days conference here in the Gibson Hotel by Colm Hayes from Radio Nova. He is the programme director. Now, Colm, lots of interesting insights yeah. on the current state of radio, the future of radio, but I want to know, what's your perspective on digital and radio? It's not just a buzzword now, isn't it? Digital, <laughs> digital, digital. Everything is digital. Uh, I'm old enough in radio to remember when the buzzword was stereo, uh, and that was just going to destroy the radio industry, and digital now. And, and I think what's wrong with programmers are sometimes is they see two different worlds, that there's a radio world and there's this huge beast called digital that is going to suck all our listeners away, while in fact they live very comfortably together. And if radio can, if we can really understand that, that for me, like my daughter's 18, she doesn't know how to tune a radio, but she knows radio exists and she finds it digitally. She finds stuff on Facebook, she finds the app on the phone or whatever. Digital is the portal now to get people in to listen to radio. That's the front door now. The back door is uh, how your mother tunes it in, but the front door is digital. It's that new world, it's, it's Twitter. So we need to embrace that completely, as opposed to think it's the crazy enemy. It's going to become our best friend. And, you know, some people are afraid, and with so many sessions inside saying Facebook are going to eat us up and Amazon are going to eat us up, they're not going to eat us up at all. Uh, they realize how important we are, and we realize how important they are. The problem at the moment is that hipster, Advertisers think that every product needs to have video content. It does, it doesn't have to have all video content. Radio is still really crazy important. And when they realize A, that coffee is too expensive, B, their trousers are too short, and C, everything doesn't have to have video content, I think people will move back and embrace radio a little bit more. We're not going to die. I've been at convention since the 80s saying this is probably the last year of radio, and we're still here. Uh, the only difference is my hair. So you have been around radio a long time and I'm, Thanks, glad, yeah. I'm glad you said that and I'm just repeating <laughs> yeah, what yeah. you said. But Christian O'Connell from Absolute Radio or yeah. formerly Absolute Radio put it very nicely when he said that radio is the original social network. Yes. It's where people connect with each other on a human level. Look, uh, I mean Christian was saying and there was somebody else saying how they were amazed about the usage that the Irish still have for radio. And the reason being is that we're storytellers and that's what we love. We love telling each other stories. Now, now, Facebook originally was your mother looking out the window and seeing what the neighbours were doing next door. And when your neighbours were going on holidays, they went, don't they have an amazing life? They're always going on holidays. You see your friends on Facebook doing exactly the same. So it's not a new technology. It's not new. It's just the way we used to live on a different a platform, a different format. And, and it's, it's, you know, we love storytelling in Ireland. Uh, as, you know, somebody said to me earlier, on why are all the events going on so long today? And I said, it's because you've got radio people. They never stop talking. Um, and we won't, and radio is that moment, that place, that perfect world you can come into, not necessarily perfect, but the world you can come into, where you can find the stories, and you can engage with them, because listeners can ring in, listeners can give out to me, they can text me. Okay, now they can tweet Facebook and Instagram, but that's just a different format to texting. That's a different format to actually, years ago, just knocking at the door or sending in a letter and saying, Colin Hayes, I wish you'd die. Now they just do it on Twitter. Now, I come from the world of radio, and my radio station was Highland Radio up in Donegal. So great station. Great station. Yeah. And, um, you know, the business of radio is all about the geographic boundary and where you get your license yeah. for. But are you not excited about the potential new listeners that you can get online that are beyond your license boundary? Yeah, I am, but the advertisers aren't. Oh, <laughs> and the salespeople are. Oh, right. no, I can't sell anything to them. I mean, oh, okay, so we've got 3,000 people listening in Shanghai, what can I sell them? Uh, no, but I think it is great. And again, it's just, the world is bigger. And when the world gets bigger, you know, your world gets smaller. And you know, people start, and I, I've always said this as well, and you'll see it happen when there's a huge international event. Local radio does really, really well because people get fed up with the international event because they can't do anything about it. So they go back to talking about, you know, the traffic lights on the main street. We have, once the world gets too big, too crazy and too dangerous, cave mentality makes us come back inside. Somebody said, Christian actually said it, after the uh, Manchester Arena bombing, he wanted to stay at home, close the door, be with his family and just play board games because that's what we do, we retreat. Local radio allows us retreat because we can retreat into local radio. Now, at Radio Nova, you guys have been experimenting and producing new content for yeah. On Air. But the other great thing that you guys have been doing, and in my world of, of training people digital, is that I always say radio people are 90% there. Guys, you're storytellers, you know how to create content, you know what a book is, and you know how to engage an audience. Yeah. You're also invested in training your people, even bringing new people on. 
Yeah, I mean that's the big thing. It's it's funny. Again, I was talking about raw talent, and I think raw talent is brilliant because raw talent means you know they, they they'll do anything. You don't know what they're going to do next. If you have talent and they've been in the business thirty or forty years, they're sort of in a set way. And I know I've been that long in the business, but I always think I'm not in that set way. Um, I'm always looking for some new way of creating radio, some new way of engaging the audience, um, and digital has allowed us to do that uh, in social media, in doing our little bit some pieces on Facebook so I embrace that I'm not afraid of that it's just a new way of still getting the same message out which is telling stories which are engaging for people to listen to and the better we tell stories the more people listen and the more my people in the other room can sell advertising for I don't know their names <laughs> they're in sales amazing and um, Helen Bowden put it so well she goes you know you guys are good at what you do that doesn't have to change. Mm. You just have to discover how you can leverage online platforms. Yes. And I think that was kind of reassuring. Maybe people needed to hear that today. Yeah, it's look at the movies. I mean, they, whatever they do, the biggest sci-fi movies, the biggest CGI, and the biggest special effects, all of that going on, and you think, wow, this is amazing. What is this about? Good versus evil. That's what the Bible is about. So it's the same story. It's just how you tell it, you know, and how you can make it really, really engaging. Okay, Colin Hayes, always a pleasure. Thank you for right. talking to me on GSB Talks Digital. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm Thank you. Too. <laughs>